Did you know that there's a really easy way to tame anglerfish in Ark Survival Evolved? Typically, anglerfish are found deep in the ocean where they are surrounded by many threats. In order to tame one, you usually need scuba and a decent water melt. However, if you transfer to the map Valguero on your cluster or on official servers, you can easily tame an anglerfish there. What you need to do is head to the aberration zone, which is underneath the main part of the map. The first entrance I know of to the aberration area is at this drain type of waterfall. You need to jump in the waterfall and travel down a few different waterfalls to reach the bottom. The waterfall is located near the castle and the green obelisk and is located at 32.1 and 92.3. There is also another entrance that's just located off the main lake in Valguero. You just flip around and there's the entrance down to the aberration zone. The location is at 38.0 and 56.9. Once you are in the aberration zone, you'll need to look for the two main rivers that are there. There is one swampy river and one regular shallow river. The swampy river starts at 32.3 and 79.0 and ends at 27.2 and 70.9. The middle of the main shallow river is located at 26.8 and 79.6. If you scan these rivers, you'll notice the little flash bulbs of the anglerfish and they are in very shallow water. So shallow in fact that you can just shoot them from the shore. This means that you can actually tame an anglerfish without needing any scuba equipment. You also don't need to worry about the threats like jellyfish and mosasaurs. So we are now at this riverside here. You can see that there's a saka we need to look out for, but there are two anglerfish in the water. There is a level 60 here. It's the highest of the two. So we're going to try and tame that one. So I'm using a crossbow with trank arrows. If you want to shoot from the water's edge, you could use a rifle with darts but I find it easier to follow it with the crossbow. It seems to be stuck on this rock, which is super helpful. If you want, you can also build a little trap to keep it in place with some fence foundations and door frames. Anglerfish have a very high torpor drain. So you'll often need several arrows to take it down and also back up narcotics to keep it knocked out. Okay, so it's been knocked out. When it comes to teaming, you need the regular kibble, which is the blue kibble. If you're going for a very easy, low resource team, just harvest the sheep and get that mutton. It's almost as good as the kibble, but we have the kibble, so we're going to use it. Put it in the inventory. You will need narcotic. The easiest way to find out how much narcotic you will need is, of course, via dodo decks. The topo drain on these is quite high. You can see it hasn't eaten yet and the topo has already dropped. So keep an eye on that. Just going to keep an eye out for threats in the area. This area is not as perilous as the deep ocean, but there are still a quite a few threats that you need to manage. These include Carquinos, Sarcos, Electrophorus, and Spinos. On many servers, you can't bring a fly into this area, but you can bring many other dinos such as Rexes, Aloes, Gigas, and Dynanicus. It's a good idea to bring one of those creatures down to manage the threats. So it's just had its first bite. I am taming this with official settings one time. The level 60 is going to take around 25 minutes and we will need around 60 narcotic. The same team on small tribes, which is around three times, will take just under 12 minutes and you won't need any extra narcotic. But because we're using official settings, this is going to take a little while. So we'll come back to when it's closer to be tamed. Nice, it is tamed up. So once you've tamed up your anglerfish, you will need to get it out of the water and back to base. There's two options for this. If you're early game, you can actually put them in a fish basket. If you are later game, you can just use a cryopod to pick it up and take it out of the aberration area. If you cannot transfer to Valguero and you need to tame one in the deep ocean, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you are going to be taming them underwater, I recommend using the net gun can be a little bit more aggressive and then using a crossbow to trank them I actually have just a couple of spear bolts I don't know if that'll be enough to take this out but these are quite expensive to make but if you have some they might be the best option switch up to arrows after this. I'm in Ragnarok, the trench that's underwater. There are Moses down here. 
junk, so you have to be pretty careful. Oh. It looks like he is torpor running a little, so we're going to give chase. Going to attack me, so that's good. Oh, hopefully I didn't get an extra one in, but we got it knocked out. And again, we'll team with our kibble. We'll need some narcotic. It is really stressful taming these underwater because you have to keep an eye on the torpor and the surrounds. We've got dunks, we've got more anglerfish. It's always a good idea to bring a spare tank because you'll often need it. Got jellyfish down there. They're not moving up. All right, that has teamed up nicely. So once you have teamed it, you can actually just jump on and ride it. And they're actually pretty fast in the water. So once you have your anglerfish teamed up, what you use it for is for harvesting silica pearls. You don't need a saddle, you just ride it and chomp on the pearls. I recommend putting points into weight and melee for this. So I am at a cave on Ragnarok. Here are the coordinates, it's 21.7 and 33.3. And you will see along the sides here lots and lots of silica pearls. So using your anglerfish you just head up and chomp on the pearls and you'll see them in the inventory. So just after a minute or two of harvesting if we take a look at the inventory you can see that we've already got a couple of thousand pearls. So that is everything that you will need to know about taming an anglerfish. If you have found this video helpful in any way please consider giving it a like or subscribing to the channel. I have lots of other really helpful guides. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.